outline the significance of fasting on the day of Arafah, and could you also tell us, is it recommended that the pilgrims also join in the fast of Arafah? As far as fasting on the day of Arafah is concerned, the day of Arafah is on the ninth day of Zil Hajj, where all the pilgrims, they gather on the field of Arafah and they pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listens to the prayers of the Muslims who are at the Hajj, at the ground of Arafah. That is the reason when the pilgrims are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the Muslims throughout the world and they join them in the way of fasting wherever they are. And it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2603, a person asked the Prophet that what is the significance of fasting on the ninth of the Hajj, that is on the day of Arafah. The Prophet says, anyone who fasts on the day of Arafah, on the ninth of the Hajj, two years of his sins will be expired. That is one year, that is the preceding year, and one is the following year. The next person asks that, what is the reason for fasting on the day of Ashura? That is the 10th of Muharram. The Prophet replied, fasting on the day of Ashura expires the sins of the previous year. So the main reason we fast on the day of Arafah is that it expires the sins of two years, the previous year, as well as the following year. And there was a misunderstanding. Some people think that you should not fast on the day of Arafah because there are hadiths talking about that. But this is specifically for the people who are performing Hajj. And there's a hadith mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1988, where when the Prophet performed Hajj, the companions were wondering whether the Prophet was fasting or not. So there were doubts among the companions. So one lady, she offers a glass of milk to the Prophet when you're riding the camel. The Prophet drinks the milk, indicating that he was not fasting. So this is particularly for the people who are performing Hajj. When they are at the day of Arafah, they should not fast. The reason is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want to overburden them. Because as it is, they are performing Hajj and taking all the trouble. So additional trouble is not required. Allah says in the Quran, Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse number 286, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not lay on a person a burden greater than he or she can bear. And furthermore, since the people are traveling, in Hajj they're traveling, so as it is for a traveler, fasting is exempted. So that is the reason for a person who's performing Hajj, who's performing pilgrimage, for him or her, fasting is prohibited. But for the other Muslims throughout the world, they should fast on the day of Arafah. Please subscribe and share for more interesting videos.